Um, I'm gonna show you how to install the easiest, quickest, and the cheapest roof you can imagine on any roof, over any roof. So this is to go over any surface. Now, the requirements only, one of the requirements are that the roof should be slanted slightly. See, slanted down here. I wanna show you how to install this easiest roof. Only my wife and I will do it. <laughs> All right, here's my wife. Yeah. She's the prettiest one on the roof. <laughs> yes, we aren't the only one. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you have a microphone on? Yeah, I got it. Okay. Yeah. And then, we're gonna, we, we too gonna install this roof. Now, this roof is, 3,200 3, square feet. I want to show you what it costs. The material. The material costs, I just bought this this afternoon and they delivered it. 32 squares, that's 3,200 square feet. $128 a roll. It costs, the, the base and everything costs $6,600, okay? This is for 3,200 square feet. Approximately two dollars a square foot a little bit over two dollars a square foot okay that's what it's gonna cost so you can calculate what it will cost you if you have a wife you can also do it <laughs> otherwise you better find yourself a wife <laughs> <laughs> right. also I'm gonna show you my tricks how to do the details around the vent pipe and vents and the other vents there because that's important otherwise it will leak Ask a question. Sweetheart, I, I, I want to know where you start, in the bottom of the roof or in the top of the roof? Okay, so that was let my... me explain. Uh -huh. You always start at the bottom of a roof. If the roof is slanted down, you want to start at the bottom. The reason is, when you overlap another material, the water cannot run back up. It will always run over, even if, there's a, if it's not sealed properly water will not run back. So you don't want to start at the top, then you're going to have the seams open and water can get underneath the seams. So always start at the bottom, any roof, and you work from the bottom up. I align this with the old torch down. <clears throat> All right, and I'm going to cut this right to the end there, right there. All right, all right, now I'm taking this plastic from behind, see here? I'm removing this plastic, see this? Just like that. And I'm peeling it back. See, you can do, I can do it? Yeah, let you do it. Yeah. My wife thinks she can do it, it's easy. I can do it, yeah. <laughs> and that's it, you remove the plastic. This will sort of stick to the old roof. Not necessary, but I don't, I don't really mind if it sticks or don't stick. And you come, this was only half of it, so the other half you have to remove as well. The same thing. You peel the plastic. There you go. And then that's it. You peel it off from underneath it. So I start right here. And again, they, they have markings of over how you can overlap. See, three inch, three inch overlap. That's what they, they require. So you follow the markings and there's the lines where I can roll my roll tool. And that's it. I roll this out. This is the easiest way to do a roof. I don't, and I line it up with that, with a with a line there. See, so that's it. And I pull the plastic off from underneath. All right. Make sure you have a dolly, so you don't have to carry everything around. Again, I'm showing you the easiest, quickest roof to do because. It's my wife and I, only my wife and I, nobody else. You can go over any surface 
it doesn't matter how bad the surface is you cut this plastic there you cut the plastic there lay it out and roll this roll out we, all right so we got this laid out the base it took us an hour and 15 minutes to get this base out and the seams are overlapping each other i cannot pull this apart look it's stuck i cannot see how it sticks you cannot even pull it apart so this will start sticking that you cannot take it apart now where it's going to leak is on the edges here because this water water can just flow underneath this behind this and that's where you need to secure it if you're going to leave it overnight and you think well, we are expecting rain so we're going to have to seal the edges so water cannot get underneath this material so my cap sheet i want to adhere it to the torch down there so i'm going to go slightly over three inches over over there and, and up the wall up the parapet wall yeah so that's what i want to do so that's where the cap sheet will go so the cap sheet is a much thicker membrane and it also has a, a sticky back it will adhere to this unbelievable and has ceramic gran granulars that protects it from ultraviolet that what make this roof an unbelievable roof this is ultraviolet protected and i did it 20 years ago this and this is now the same just in a, an appeal and stick uh, format so what you do is you put your cap sheet down this is the fastest easiest cheapest because not much labor involved and i i line it up i line it up a little bit like that there you go i'm gonna put my lining it up just like that see there cut the corner so it doesn't stand up place down flat and then you remove your uh, plastic base again, like, there you go. You want me to do it? Yeah, so you you remove the the base, I mean the, the plastic from the cap sheet. Here's the thing, if this is a hot day, this cap sheet will stick to this, um, will stick to this other uh, torch down here. So you really don't have to do anything here. But here's where the problem starts. What do you do in this case? Because even if it sticks there, you can see, look, look, it starts to stick, but not too much. You want this to be fused together. And that's where a little bit of technique comes in. I use like a torch. I heat fuse this, so now I want to show you. You have to apply a lot of heat on the torch down or on the, on the surface that you're going to put it down. So. I'm getting pretty hot and I, okay. and I take my trowel and I, I really press it into the membrane, just like that. You cannot see it oozing out or will not ooze out, but I, I make a seal by heating this up like that. And you cannot take that apart. And that's it, you cannot, look, it's, you see, it's sealed. It will not come apart. That's it, and that's seal. Very, very good seal. All right. So, comes to the next layer. You put your membrane down like that. Okay. You roll it out completely. Then you remove. Let me show you. Once you do that. 
So what you do is, you have to remove two plastics here. You remove this base, like that, and you remove this one together. Mm -hmm. This one covers this overlap here. Let me show you. Once this attaches this, you cannot take it apart. So you gotta really be careful. Make sure it sticks, and that's it. You remove both plastics at the same time. It sticks. Look. Look here. I can, I can barely take it apart. If this gets hot, you cannot take it apart. That's how well. I cannot take it apart now. Right now it's really cool. It's cool out now. It's like 70 degrees outside. But if the sun hits us, you're not going to take it apart. Okay. All right. No, no, no. We have to talk to you. Okay. This is my son, Andre. Mm -hmm. And he's going to make a video telling what he's how to make flashing around a vent pipe. How to flash it in. Okay? okay, this is on that easy, fast, and quick roof. Around this pipe, and then we're going to weld it in around the perimeter. And once that's done, we'll be waterproof. But you have to wait till later to see how we really get to the details of the waterproofing. Well, my father can do that for you. Like I said, the first thing we want to do... <laughs> All Roof USA. Ali I have my own channel. Ali is my biggest fan. Absolutely. 100%. <laughs> Ali is my biggest fan. I don't have many, but at least I have Ali. But you have a lot. Oh, come on. Good videos. Okay. Okay, the thing to remember about this, 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 uh, this modified bitumen cap sheet, it's peel and stick. So, there's, a, there's this plastic liner, right? And sticky. Well, not that sticky, but it's sticky enough. So, let's get here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure out. You want a three inch lap. So I'm gonna say about three inches right there. So let's say that's our center is 13 inches. Let's say 14 to be safe. So 14 inches, 14 is right here. So this is the center. So just like that. Okay, now we have our hole. It had to be perfect. No, come on. That's not, it's not nice. perfect. Come on. Don't make me look bad now. <laughs> okay, this is the hard part. Okay, just like that. Just like that. Now. There we go. That's a lot better. So, okay. Now, now we have our pipe cut. The problem is we're gonna, I didn't want to split it because I don't want to have to put another weld there, but we're going to have to because there's no other way to do it. So, here goes nothing. Okay, not a nice cut, but what can we do? So. Okay, nice and easy. Next thing we're gonna do is peel the release liner so we don't have to worry about that anymore. Okay. Ugh. Okay. For this one. that or cut out our vent I think it's ready for the doctor let me go get the doctor so you can weld it all in and it's done wow there's a little bit more to it than that but let's call the doctor I just laid it out all you gotta do is what's huh? all you gotta do is burn it in now burn it in yeah no 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 go ahead I I, I just it's, the doctor doesn't want to practice <laughs> Don't worry. Oh, I, I, I get to think. Don't worry. This is a big one. This is a big one. Yeah, that's okay. Don't worry. Okay, don't worry. 
So, just like that, we're gonna work it down. It is peel and stick, but. Don't forget, you still gotta. All the seams got to get welded. Nice and easy, just like that. Okay, so we just want to get the membrane warm so it sticks to everything, because right now it's not going to stick because everything is slightly damp. Okay. Hopefully it sticks a little better than nothing, that's all I can say. Yeah, don't worry, don't worry. You know, so everything is gonna, when it gets a little warmer out, everything's gonna stick nice and nicely down. But there's one problem we have here. All the penetrations, they're not waterproof just yet. So I'll leave that up to the uh, the A-team to get it done, right? Yeah, but this is the sun they always came to the rescue. <laughs> I don't know about that. I don't know if I did too much today. Yeah, you did a lot, in I'll give you that. <laughs> what do you think is gonna happen now? You think it'll be done tomorrow morning? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he came to help. He saved the day. Listen, listen, I came for an hour, but I've only been here for 10 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> and almost get everything done. No, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. rain, but we're covering everything for rain, okay? All right, so we're making sure that it's rainproof for tomorrow, for tonight. It's going to rain. So what we do is we put a little bit of tar on the seams where the transition is. So just to prevent any water getting underneath the base paper. All right, that's the whole point. Don't, not too much, just a little bit, so the water can flow over and not under. All right, that's the idea. We'll cover it with a little bit of tar. Yeah. 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 It's gonna rain tonight, but we started this thing, this is like a, What's the time right now? Right now, sir. Sorry. Six. Huh? Six fifty-seven. Almost seven o'clock. Almost seven o'clock. We started at three thirty, and uh, we three quarters of the way done with this roof. That shows you how quick and easy this type of roof is. Very simple. Very easy to do. We're just covering for tomorrow. Otherwise, we would have like to finish but it started drizzling and the the base is wet and we cannot go and stick onto the base it's not the first time andre is covering a roof like this <laughs> making the leaks proof. we used to do it every day <laughs> my father would see a two-hour window and, and then we would try to do the roof and it would rain and we would do the exact same steps we're doing now <laughs> every time the man has not learned <laughs> He does not even check the no, weather. I don't think he's gonna learn. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> I don't check the weather. You're right. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, I don't worry about weather. <laughs> about 10 o'clock. Oh, yeah? Rain till 10. Yeah, we, we was planning to go to the Nun. That's nice. Here we go. So, yesterday, you can see this is the quickest, fastest, easiest roof to do. And we did this all yesterday in three hours. So we got here at 3.30, at 6.30, we got this far and started raining. That was like 6.30 last night. We couldn't uh, continue. And you can see a little bit of water on the roof here. Um, <clears throat> okay, now there's a few things that a little bit difficult and that's gonna be the vents and the sides where you make transitions and I will show you this but slightly come this way sir because that camera 
slightly further than the pipe here. So what you do is then you cut a slit. I already did it. So you cut a slit up like that and you just cut around like that. See that? Cut it around more or less. It doesn't have to be perfect because I'm going to show you how to do the flashing. Now you can see this is like a bump. Look here. It doesn't lie flat. So I'm going to cut some slits in here like that. There's a slit. Cut another slit in here to make it lie flat. See? See? That's it. So I cut some slits to make the membrane lie flat on it. That's it. This roof, you can see there's some bubbles here. Or, uh, it didn't lie flat. See there? So what you do is you step on it. Step on it and you go all the way to step on it like that. To, to close, to make the seam tight. Sorry. See that? Okay. And this. Let's do that other one there too. Okay, look. So they do the same thing, Look. make it tight while the sun is shining mm -hmm. and it's very hot. Okay, mm -hmm. and this is how you do it. You can get a roller, uh -huh. so you can do it with a roller. But this is how you get your seams tight. And then this will never come up. And this, this uh, seam too, that's it. It's very sticky, very, very yeah. sticky. So this is how you do it. Yeah. The only people that did it, my wife and I. Yeah. And we did 35, 32 squares in just four and a half hours yeah. complete. All right? Yeah. All right. Now I'm going to show you how to do the transitions mm -hmm. when you have obstacles on the roof, like yeah. the vent pipe and vents and stuff like that. I'm going to show you how to make this tight, okay? Because just leaving this like this, will leak. You cannot leave it like this. Water would get in here and the same around this. Water would get in here. You got to make it tight, okay? All right. First, you take a turbo poly seal. I don't know if you can see that. Turbo poly seal, okay? And, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got to open this up. Oh, I got to stir this up. So, ooh. Put it up there. Okay, so look at it. There's a it's solidified already. Ooh. Okay. All right. So I took that off the top because it gets a little gooey. Do any flashing. Any flashing. Okay. You take yourself a turbo poly seal. You take yourself a fleece. Wrap it around to get the right size. And. Uh, and I cut the tabs like this to halfway to the roll. So it's a, it's a four inch roll and I'm gonna cut it halfway. One, right there, two. Just like that, every inch or so. All right, and this is how you do it. And you paint a coat of turbo around the pipe like that. And we uh, put this there. I wrap this around just like that. Ooh. Looks like a professional, right? That's all you'd have to do. Oh, you cut it like that. And just like that. All right, so overlap it like that. And you have yourself flashing. See how easy that was? This took only a few minutes. Doesn't yeah, take that. Can Anybody can do this. It's not really. This is the easiest, easiest way to do flashing around vent pipes. Why they make it so look so hard? Then I'm done. You see that? I cover the entire fleece. Make sure it's covered. And that's it. Look at it. Pretty. Just like that. Make sure you got the... And, and your flashing is done. This, you can do with this with any, any, any vent pipe seal to any roof. This is the best material, easiest way to use. 
You never have to panic when you see flashing. You just get yourself a can of turbo poly seal and you do it. Simple. And that's it. Okay. The old days of flashing so special, it's gone. This is very, very simple and at last. Will not leak. Much simpler than any, all, all these other things. See? Okay, there you go. Flashing is done. Flashing around this and the flashing around the vent pipe. Done. That's how you do it. Quickest, fastest, easiest roof to do. Turbo poly seal and the self peel and stick membrane and you're done. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.